your French. So everybody keeps asking me for a tier list, and I'm trying to explain to everybody that, you know, the tier list, it, it takes takes too long, but people just keep asking me for a tier list. I'm going to unsubscribe if I don't get a tier list. I need a tier list to survive. I need a tier list. So I've decided to take a day off work. Don't look at the date in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, to uh, to spend the whole day making one of these expanded tier lists, right? So let's go through the divisions one by one, and we'll start with first UK because it's number number one in the order. But uh, sadly, Warno is a game made in France. So if we go to first UK, this is my first UK deck. Uh, let's start on the Logi tab. So first of all, Stolly, forty five points, sixty three kilometers an hour. If you compare this to um, uh, the UH60A supply, for the same price, you get a vehicle which is four times faster for the same price, for the same price. And get this, it can fly for the same price. So that's just one of the many ways that UK suffers. Uh, as we go through these other things, so the Sultan, uh, the Sultan comes at three and the, and the command comes at two. That's a bit odd, UK suffers. Um, the warrior only comes at two. UK suffers. Field supply point doesn't even render because of how much UK suffers. Moving into the inf tab, you know, you might be like, "Ooh, warrior, that's cool," but uh, it only gets held in the land one, so it's not that good. You'll note that there's no flamer infantry here. Um, you know, just generally, just a terrible tab, terrible tab, terrible division. Rifles. Let's compare rifles to. Uh, Rifles, compare this to... Uh, you better subscribe, by the way. I had to take a day off work to make this tier list. It's going to take me ages. It's going to take me all day. you gotta, you got to subscribe, bro. So FS Jaeger, same price. Um, and their special forces, Shock and Airborne Forward, deployed with the same number of men. And they also get... You might say one versus two LMGs, bro. But um, the one LMG that the FS Jaeger get is better because it's higher caliber. Um, it's not better than two... Of the other one but yeah special forces shock once you add that to the mix obviously um the fs jaeger is better for the same price uk suffers as we move into the rt tab you'll note that um so the abbot was infamous for having direct fire capability it's basically a tank in its own right you know uh, it has direct fire capability but sadly one is a game made in france so the abbot does not have direct fire capability unlike something like the nona which does have direct fire capability, so, you know, one is a game made in France, what can you do, eh? Uh, let's talk about the Paladin, so the UK gets the Paladin. Uh, it's not as... <laughs> uh, first of all, you got to compare it to the... Um, M109... Yeah, so so you might be like, wow, best thing ever, but the, the American one's better, because the Americans get the National Guard Paladin, which is... 20 points cheaper but reservist and you might be like oh reservist bad but um uh, it doesn't matter because who cares if your artil your artillery gets suppressed in this matter so uk paladin suffers and then if we compare it to the french one one of course again made in france the amx alpha one for the same price gets uh direct fire capability which the abbot doesn't get it gets faster speed it gets more fuel and it also gets a higher fire rate, fire rate of 25% more. Well, it depends how you count it, right? It might be 33.3% more, but it's four instead of five. And it has direct fire capability, and it has one more front armor and one more side armor, and it's the same price. So that's just the French bias coming at it, it, coming at it again. Then we switch to the challenges, you know, the, the tank tab, sorry. So... Um, yeah, so this used to be mediocre stealth, but they fixed it after I complained. You're welcome. And um, yeah, so the challenger, you might be like, whoa, challenge is such a good tank, bro. Rate of fire of 8. Base 8. And uh, and look how slow it is. So it's, it's basically just useless. And if you compare the Chieftain Mark 11, just compare the Chieftain Mark 11 to the infamous, ubiquitous T-80B, you'll see that they're the same price, but the T-80B has... Um, three higher rate of fire and is much faster and has more side armor. So the, in a 1v1, oh, and it's got an ATGM and it's got better machine guns because one SVT and SVT is better than two medium machine guns. 
So, um, so yeah, you know, UK is really out here suffering. Um, the TATB is just better. Like if you one v, if you put them into a one v one, the TATB will win one hundred percent of the time. And it's all about that fire rate. And because it's a manual loader, I don't think it tells you. It's a manual loader. So as this gets stressed out, it loses fire rate as a percentage of its base fire rate. So because the base is the lowest in the game of any of the good tanks, I say good tanks, this is obviously a bad tank, um, It you lose more fire rate than the other ones do because it's not just minus one fire rate, it's a percentage of your base fire rate and because the, the base is lower. Um, hang on, uh, let, let's move on. Don't think about that too much. Uh, but the TATB will always win in a 1v1. So, you know, tank tab, useless. Uh, recon tab. Um, useless. AA tab, Javelin, Lamau. Um, only goes at 20 kilometers an hour. You compare that to the Minstrel. The French Minstrel. Minstrel. Not only does it have one more HE, but it also goes significantly faster than the, than the Javelin. So, I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know what it is. And the accuracy is the same. Uh, and the range on the miss Minstrel is better. And the Minstrel is fire and forgetty, which means that if you lose line of sight to the target, it doesn't matter. If you die, it doesn't matter as long as the missile's away. Whereas the Javelin Lamau, for some reason, is classed as manual guidance, even though it's sackcloth. So, first UK suffering in that tab as well. Helicopter tab, no auto cannons, only three slots. Um, the UK produced something like 27,000 tow twos between 1984 and 1994 for use with the Lynx Hell Arm. But in this game, they they don't get that. They just get the Ito. Gazelle rockets are absolutely rubbish now because they only carry 12 rockets and the rockets have all been nerfed. So you actually need all six of them to kill a single unit. So they're useless. So UK suffers. Air tab. Um, you know, a lot of people, they say, oh, UK air, yeah, so good. This is extremely expensive, what it does. And you've got, you, you've, you've got this, which is a cool bomber. Nice, nice low altitude dive bomber. Um, but you know this this is slow and rubbish this is slow and rubbish this doesn't work properly it just doesn't fire the rocket um this is uk suffers and this is a high altitude bomber so the enemy moves out of the way and this is a high altitude bomber so the enemy moves out of the way so if you're against a competent player these two are basically useless and and this is basically all that's worth bringing and be, just because the aa has such short range um you know it, it because the range is so so short and the tanks are so slow. Basically, you buy a tank and the enemy just bombs it, and then you might be able to revenge kill him, but you can never intercept it beforehand because for some reason there's no tracked rapier FSA. There's no radar rapier. So first UK really 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 bad division. So we're gonna put it at F tier. Next we'll do second UK. So second UK, you know a lot of people have been saying, oh it's good, it's good, it's good. Um, you know, these are ba people have basically been paid by Eugene. So, you know, Logitab, the Puma HC1 supply, after like six months of complaining, the Puma HC1 supply finally doesn't use fuel. So that's something at least. But yeah, your your options, you know, it's UK suffers basically. Like this used to be three avail, now it's two. For some reason, it's 10 points more. Let's compare that to the fr froggy one. Let me just get up my little froggy deck. Um... Hang on, is that more? Okay, let's just forget about that. Uh, let's let's talk about something else. Um, so P4, PC, CV. Yeah, compare that to the Rover CV. And you'll see that UK suffers because um, the P4, PC for the exact same price is uh, four kilometers an hour faster. And it has more... Uh, it, it's four kilometers an hour faster. UK suffers. UK suffers. So, so Logitab, Z tier. Inf tab, ooh, SAS. SAS is so good. SAS have the lowest availability of any special forces in the game per card. I'm not joking. This is three availability SAS, right? Let's look at Spetsnaz. Let's look at Spetsnaz. Spetsnaz, four availability per card. Let's look at FS Jaeger. Let's look at the East German FS Jaeger. Uh, four availability per card. Four availability per card. Four availability per card. Let's look at uh, let's look at the Americans. Let's look at Rangers. Are they in this division? No, they're not. <laughs> let's look at uh, let's look at rangers. So rangers six availability special forces shock. Rangers dragon six availability special forces shock. 
let's look at... Uh, I mean, I'm sure you get my point, right? Um, basically, UK suffers. Whoops, wrong division. Uh, wrong deck for that division. Should probably just delete this. Um, so just generally terrible tab. Um, artillery. Uh, this is the worst howitzer in the game. I'm not joking, because it's got, it's got a really low fire rate of 2 per minute, unlike the Paladins, which have 4, and it's only got 0 0.1... 0 0.3... 0 0.37 more HE. Wow. And it's one per card. So it's just useless. If you compare it to like the Malka. I can't remember what the original was called. M1 something. Oh, that's American naming conventions, man. They just do my head in. It might have been the M1. Uh oh. M109. No. M107A2. Yeah. So less HE. One less HE than the Malka. Three kilometers less range than the Malka, less suppression than the Malka, same fire rate as the Malka. <laughs> ah, Warner is a game made in France. So, so another terrible tab. Uh, of course, ATE two millimeter mortars, absolutely useless. Used to be cheaper because you know because of how bad they are. But instead of just making them better, they just made them more expensive. So you quote unquote can't spam. Tank tab. You you only get five tanks and then some germy germy rubbish. Don't want to talk about that. Recon tab, worst, worst recon tab in the universe of whole recorded human history. Um, we've already spoken about the problems with the air tab, with the javelins just being bad. The rapier FSA not having a version on a truck, even though... So in real life, right? Let's compare, shall we? In real life, you may be asking yourself, where's the radar for this cup? Shall I tell you where it is? It's on a separate truck. But in the game, they just abstract it as one unit. And this is the same for most of the AA pieces. But no, when it comes to the UK, uh, this radar would be on a separate truck. So instead of abstracting it, they just say no raid, no rapier FSA. No rapier FSA for you. Don't even get me started on the blowpipe, the worst AA in the game. Um, with a missile speed that's so slow that most planes can outfly it. Heli tab spoke about this. No tow two, no auto cannons, just baddie, baddie stuff. Air tab, don't get me started on this. Phantom F three AA. Wow, one hundred and seventy five points, eight missiles, two availability. Let's have a look at what the competition brings, shall we? I believe it's in. Yep, F four E Phantom AA, four availability, ten more points, one less missile, and crucially, a gun. Extremely useful in this meta. If you play the game, you'd know. So, going back to, uh, yeah, and then, and, um, so the British Phantoms in real life were actually upgraded versions of the American Phantoms because they, they got the American Phantoms and they're like, well, these are bad. So they got the engines better. They just made them better. And they also bought gun pods because the, the, um, you know, the F3 Phantom by default didn't have a gun. So they bought an external gun pod and they put it on. But in this game, what do you get? Uh, you get no gun, one more missile, two less availability. And the missiles aren't as good as the American missiles. Look, the Sparrow has 700 meters more range than the Skyflash, even though in real life, obviously, the Skyflash made in Britain best plane in the universe. You hate to see it, honestly. You hate to see it. One is a game made in France. So there you go. Second UK covered that. Basically covered all that. It gets this Jaguar cluster bomber. Uh, used to used to get uh, used to be cheaper, but they made it five points more expensive, so you can't buy one per minute. Just nerf in UK, nerf in UK, nerf in UK. So there you go, F tier. Now before we get to the other divisions, I'd like to explain to you how perspective works. So you know, let's say let's say you got two guys. I get the I got this pen from Maplins when it went bust, and it was I got it for really cheap. This should have cost me like 150 quid, but it, it cost me 50. So let's say you see two guys. And um, this is, uh, we're going to call him Freddy First UK Armoured. And he's sat because his division keeps getting nerfed. And Warner is a game made in France. And he's with his mate, um, Samir Second UK Infantry Division. And he's also sad because... Um, uh, <laughs> So this is this is Freddy and this is Samir and um, and he's also sad because um, 
because the you know the everything just keeps getting nerfed he also wants to play the uk and um you know he, he goes outside and he spends all day with people shouting vile racist abuse at him not the not the brave englishers the uh, the french people that work at his multinational company because english people aren't racist and um and you know he, so he's also sad because his division keeps getting nerfed after a long hard day of coming home uh you know he comes home after a long hard day and um and he tries to play some Warno, and warno has been been nerfed and um i'm having a lot of fun with this it's, it's a good job microsoft paint isn't made in france otherwise none of this would be possible either i think it has a red line around it and then this is obviously black background and then it's got some keys so we got we got freddy first uk infantry division and samir second uk uh sorry freddy first uk armored division so it's like keys right um and uh samir second uk infantry division I think <laughs> let's just color them in before anybody gets any ideas about what I'm drawing here. Uh, I, th I don't think, um, yeah, because I left a gap here. And you know, so they're they're talking in in the pub um, or or in you know in in Hyde Park free speech zone. Don't have that in Europe. Um, about how how set upon and this is like it's got like a rhino, rhino, right? So I don't know, rhino kind of looks like that. It's got a big horn. Yeah, that looks about right. Um. It's very important. It's very important that we lit. It's very important that we get this right. Um, I've got to undo. Just uh, struggling a bit here. It's very important that we get this right. And uh, and yeah. So so do you see how? Do you see how you can see them because you're next to them? Do you see that? Right. So let's imagine. Let's imagine that these guys have been nerfed so much. They've been nerfed so much. That actually, they're just they're just so far away. They're just so far away. They've been nerfed so much. I put the pen down. I just immediately lost it. I really need to clean my desk because this is how perspective works, right? So if you if you think about like so, let's say they're at the end of a long road, um, and you know, so this is the horizon line. I'm not sure why they'd be above the horizon line. One sec. <laughs> uh, that's the horizon line. Nice flat horizon line, and you know, and and they're at the end of a, a long road. And it represents the road to equal rights. You know, Britain, of course, abolishing slavery, inventing the Industrial Revolution. Um, uh, basically, everything in your life you probably owe to England. And um, and in their quest for equal rights, um, you know, they're, they're at the end of the long road of equal rights. And so they're, they're actually quite far away. So um, I'm trying to get like a dotted line, but maybe it's just better if... Because uh, I wanted to make the road black, but... Let's let's make it yellow because it's the yellow brick road. That of course an amazing English song. Um so it's the yellow brick road and and we've got the you know the sun is shining in the sky. Let's make it a red sun because it is clearly a clearly a red day. French people of course being all communists. And um and you know so Freddy and Samir Freddy and Samir Freddy and Samir one second Samir um Freddie and Samir on this on this nice blue day, heading down the road of progress. But do you see how far away they are from all the other divisions? Because because of the balance, right? Because of the balance. So if we imagine five easy, we've got a we've got a five easy here. Five easy is like a, let's just use black. So you know five easy is because it's so op. It just looks so close to us. It just looks so close to us, and it's just sort of like an orange color, right? Uh, just bear with me on this because I, I am trying to explain, you know, because I, I, there's lots of different ways to explain this and people just don't seem to get it. From what I remember, it has like a horsey on it. Uh, something like that. No, hang on. I think I can do a bit better than that. One second. Um, I'm just getting a. I'm just getting the the divisional icon for five E division Blindy. So it's got like a horse on it, right? So here we go. Um, so that's that's the horse. Transparent selection black. Yeah. So that's the five E logo. And so do you notice that because because we're stood here, right? And and these divisions they've been nerfed so much, right? They just look so far away. They and and they also look really close together. Do you see what I mean? So they don't look that, you know, they're, they're like so close together. And so when we turn to our tier list, 
I see it, it'll all come into perspective now. So you imagine that you're looking at these two, they're far away, they look so close together. But when these two look at all the other divisions, they also seem close together, right? Because from their perspective, all the other divisions are really far away, and they're also really close together. And so because of that, we can just do this. And that accurately represents what's happening here because the difference in power level between the uk divisions and all the other divisions is so great so great um berlin is like slightly uk sweet so that goes there uh, it's so great and you know i'm uk so i go down here that uh, that this is your completed tier list because um you know, if, if these three divisions weren't in the game, and presumably next patch they won't be, because they just keep getting nerfed so much that soon they just won't won't even exist anymore. Um, if these weren't in the game, then, then you could differentiate more between these two. But there is just simply such a gap between the British divisions and all the other divisions that this is a completely accurate tier list. So there you go, there's the tier list. There's a link in the description if you want to make your own. And... Um, and, you know, I hope you enjoyed the tier list. It, this took me about 20, 30 hours of research. Uh, and this is the conclusion that I've come to, which is correct because I'm the best Warno player in the world. So if we if we go back into Warno, you'll see that I'm actually the best Warno player in the world. It might look like I'm, I'm like rank 17 or whatever. But if you just bear with me a couple seconds. Um, so, you know, we probably don't need this anymore uh there we go and then um and yeah so just bear with me while i while i make while i make the thumbnail here so yeah i'm, I'm basically the best uh best well, oops, best player in the in the world and um and so my opinion's right so you know uh yeah gg i hope you enjoyed the tier list